We are back, and we are back with a brand new series called Overflow. If you're wondering, what does overflow mean? It means that God will always give us everything we need to live a happy life. He will always take care of us. It also means that when we give with a grateful heart, when we serve, when we love others, God is going to give us to overflow. It means it keeps coming and coming and coming. So get ready for a really fun series and also a little bit challenging. Are you ready? Let's go. Hey, One Kids, we're back with another challenge. And today's is called The Movie Challenge. And in this challenge, you have to name as many kids' movies as you can in 10 seconds. So we're going to see if I can do it first. Okay, ready? And go. Um, Moana. Up. Big Hero 6, How to Train Your Dragon, um, Frozen, Frozen 2, Toy Story, <sighs> man, I could only do seven. But let's see how many you guys can do. I bet y'all can do so many more. Are you ready? On your mark, set, go. Hey, hey, One, one kids. kids, welcome, welcome to, to Church, Church Online. Online. We are so glad that you're here with us. One Kids is our favorite, and we're so thankful to get to spend every week with you. Now, you know we can't get started without going over our... Values. values! These are my favorite. Our first value is to love God. We love God by giving Him our undivided attention. We also love God by worshiping Him with our voices and with all of our hearts. Number two, love people. We love people because God loves all people and we want to be just like Him. One Kids, do you remember the third one? If you do, say it really loud. That's right. Do your best. Do your best in everything you do and God will take care of the rest. And last but not least, have fun. We want this to be the best hour of your week. So have fun because God gives us so much joy. Speaking of fun, we're going to have so much fun as we get ready to worship together. So one kids, stand on your feet.
one, kids. Are you ready to learn our new verse for this month? The first time, we're going to say it and you listen. Then we're going to say it and you can repeat after us. Are you ready? God is able to do far more than we could ever ask for or imagine. He does everything by His power that is working in us. Ephesians 3.20. Great job. Now we're going to say it and you repeat after us. Are you ready? God is able to do far more than we could ever ask for or imagine. He does everything by His power that is working in us. Ephesians 3.20. Great job, One Kids. Now we're going to say it in a really, really quiet voice. As quiet as you can. Are you ready? God is able to do far more than we could ever ask for or imagine. He does everything by His power that is working in us. Ephesians 3.20. Great job, One Kids. Now we're gonna say it as loud as we can. And I know you can be really, really loud. Are you ready? God is able to do far more than we could ever ask for or imagine. He does everything by His power that is working in us. Ephesians 3.20. Great job, One Kids. This week, the title of our lesson is Here to Get. And there's something so magical and so powerful that happens the moment that we get something and we give back. It is so important that when we get things, we find ways to give even when it's hard. Today, we're going to look at the story about a woman who gave everything she had and it made Jesus so happy. Let's watch now. Jesus was sitting in the temple in Jerusalem across the place where people gave their offerings. You see, people would go and give at the temple, just like we give our tithes and offerings here at One Church. He watched as people put money into the large golden bowls, and he could hear the coins falling into the large chest of coins. It was making lots of cool sounds as it hit the bottom. Many rich people made a big show of giving gold coins and large amounts of money. They were just trying to show off how much money they had given. Now a poor widow came and she put two small copper coins. It was a very, very small amount of money. When Jesus saw this, he called his disciples to gather around him. You see this poor widow who put the money in the golden bowls? She gave more than any of the others, Jesus told them. This was kind of interesting. His friends were a little bit confused. Then Jesus said, All of these other people gave a lot because they're rich. But even though she is poor, she put everything she had. And she had nothing left. How great that Jesus uses this woman as an example for us today. She didn't care about keeping things to herself. She gave all that she had because she knew that God would take care of her. God loves a giving heart and it brings so much joy to Him when we give. This week, find ways to give back to your family, to your church, to your community. When you give of your time or your money or your things, you will find that it makes you even more grateful for the things that you have. And God will always give you more than you ever needed. It makes me so happy when I give to others. And I know that when we give, we show God that we love Him and others. What a great story. This woman was a great example of what it means to really trust God. So there's three things we want you to remember this week. Number one, give with a thankful heart. Number two, give with a happy heart. And number three, give with a loving heart. Let's pray. Jesus, we thank you for everything you've given us. And Jesus, we say to you, we are here to give because we know that you're always going to give us everything we need to have a happy life. We love you and we thank you for everything you've done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That was a great story. Hit the subscribe button. Turn notification. Give me a huge thumbs up. Bye.